GameRanks presents the 10 best gaming accessories below $25. So if you're on a bit of a budget but you want to amp up your gaming stuff, whether it's for PC or console, this is the list for you. All of the products we mentioned in this video are linked down below so you can check them out. Let's get started with number 10. First and foremost, let's rectify one of the biggest problems of the PlayStation 4. The charging cable for the DualShock controller is too damn short, so we recommend the Dream Gear PlayStation 4 Charge and Play cable. It looks like a regular USB charging cable, but what's so special about it, you ask? Well, it's freaking 10 feet long. That is plenty of charging distance for your controller to your console, and then some. It's always better to have the extra distance, and for like 10 bucks, this is definitely a must-buy. That way, your DualShock controller will always be charged since the battery isn't too long, and it'll be less of a pain in your butt next time. At number 9, look, it's downright despicable that the Xbox One controller uses AA batteries. So for just about 20 bucks, you can change that and get the Xbox One Play and Charge Kit. This is a pretty good investment because you never have to worry about buying those stupid batteries again, thanks to its rechargeable lithium-ion battery pack. It's basically just like the Play and Charge Kit for the Xbox 360. The rechargeable unit can charge in under 4 hours, and thankfully you can use the controller while it's charging with a really long cable. At number 8, here's something that we discussed in our Top 10 Gaming Hacks video from long ago that over a million of you watched. The best fancy headset stand you can get is just about $10. And yeah, sure, okay, it's a banana stand, but it looks really sleek, it's really simple, it's silver, and it'll hold any expensive high-end headset you can throw on it. Sure, Astro A40s and A50s might come with a really high-quality stand, but throw that shit in the garbage, you got a banana stand. This thing is meticulously designed, resilient, durable, and gorgeous. So if you want to impress someone coming over with your sweet gamer gear, direct them no further to your advanced state-of-the-art headset holder. At number 7, for you console people, we can recommend a few controller accessories. You guys made fun of us in the last list. We know that controllers aren't the most accurate thing in the world because, of course, PC Master Race PC is the best. But look, some people who are stuck using controllers want a little more accuracy. So the FPS Control Freak Vortex is probably your best bet. They stick onto your joysticks, and they're under 20 bucks, and you can get them for PlayStation 4 or Xbox One controllers specifically. Sure, they look a little dorky, but they might give you a slight edge that you need with controller accuracy. And for you Nintendo gamers, we definitely recommend the Circle Pad Pro, which is under $20. This attaches to your 3DS and gives you an extra analog stick, which is perfect for controlling a lot of great games like Monster Hunter. You're gonna need that right stick for camera control and other options, and you'll definitely be thanking us later. And at number six, since we've been talking about charging, check out this PS4 USB charger splitter. This thing attaches to the front of your PS4 with a USB port and adds five charging ports. It has both USB 3.0 and 2.0 ports, and it looks really sick. It's designed to totally blend in with your PS4 and kind of just adds a little extra chunk to it that makes it look kind of awesome. So if you got a bunch of Shit to charge and not enough USB ports because the PS4 doesn't have enough, this might be your best bet. As for mouse pads, we can recommend two on a budget. The Razer Goliath Small Control Gaming Mouse Mat is made of high quality, thin, and dense material. Sure, it doesn't glow over a thousand LED colors like some other Razer products, but it's reliable, it's got that Razer logo if you like it, and it's super cheap. And then on the other hand, we have the SteelSeries QCK Gaming Mouse Pad. This thing comes in a couple different colors. It's smooth, it's cloth, it's got a really good rubber base that stays on your desk. I recommend it because I use it. And the coolest part is that it's thick as hell. It's one of the thickest budget mouse pads you can get. So if you want that beefy feeling for your mouse, this SteelSeries pad is the best, and it's just under 25 bucks. At number four, are you looking for a reliable but cheap keyboard? Well, we could recommend the Rosewill RK8300. This is a wired USB gaming keyboard. It's pretty basic, it's got three dedicated macro keys, and it's plug and play, thankfully. But thankfully, the WSD and directional key functions are swappable. This is a small, basic, unobtrusive keyboard that is really reliable. I personally have a friend who has used this thing intensely for over a year, and it hasn't stopped. And if you look around, you can find this thing for only 15 bucks. That's pretty damn good for a Rosewill product. And it's probably one of the better USB keyboards you could find. At number three, let's recommend some controllers. Now, controllers can get a little expensive and go above our $25 budget, but we can recommend the SteelSeries Free Mobile Wireless Gaming Controller. This is a Bluetooth gaming controller that you can use for smartphones, iPhones, tablets, and for your PC and Mac. This thing is basically unbeatable in its compatibility, and you can hook it up to almost anything. It's got a rechargeable battery that lasts for almost 10 hours, and the thing works almost 20 feet away. It really comes in handy if you're playing a game on a tablet that has awful touchscreen controls that you want to get around. If the app works with this controller, you're in like Flynn. It's got a good design, it's small and portable, it can slip right in your bag, and there's not really much more you can ask for for the price. And speaking of controllers, we got a cool controller for mobile. The Nyko Smart Clip is just a cheap piece of plastic that you can clip onto your DualShock controller, and which you can sync up wirelessly via Bluetooth on your phone to play some mobile games. If you got some mobile games on your Android phone that you're hardcore into, playing with a DualShock controller really steps it up. And since you have a DualShock 4 controller, you probably have a PlayStation 4, so you can use the PlayStation app to integrate second screen features with your controller. Down to number two, let's talk gaming headsets. These things are pretty quick to break the bank often, but we did find some within our budget. 
The Turtle Beach Ear Force ZLA gaming headset. It's probably the best for your bet because Turtle Beach makes decent budget products. Most notably because their build quality is decent and the headphones are fairly comfortable. The Ear Force ZLA is no different. It's got stereo sound, soft padded ear cushions, inline volume controls that you can access pretty easily while you're playing a game, and it's got a 3.5 millimeter connector that can also hook up to any PC pretty easily. We can also recommend the Logitech Stereo Headset H230. These are sleek, slim-fitting headphones with a noise-canceling microphone and a behind-the-back-of-the-head design that's pretty comfortable. You might have to shop around a little bit, but you can find these babies for under 25 bucks, and they're pretty damn reliable. And plus, you look kind of cool wearing them. Not that that really matters, but hey. And at number one, we can recommend gaming mouse to you guys that costs about 25 bucks. The Satechi Edge Wireless Gaming Mouse. This is a gaming mouse with adjustable DPI, and it's got a really cool LED scroll wheel that you can change colors. Of course, this does have little bells and whistles like a turbo button, and adjustable on-the-fly mouse sensitivity, and it's wireless and reliable, and it's got a pretty good ergonomic design. Sure, it might not be the best, most craziest, over-the-top gaming mouse, but it is a simple, cheap mouse that is designed for gaming that looks fairly cool and might fit in with your budget setup, so you should probably give it a shot. For under 25 bucks, what more have you got to lose? And for just under $25, we can recommend the Logitech G100S Optical Gaming Mouse. This is another simple gaming mouse, but it's ultra durable and built really ruggedly. It's got a 2500 DPI optical sensor, so it's pretty accurate. It's got an ambidextrous design for you lefties out there. And it's got a high quality finish on it that grips to your hand. And if you want something a little more funky looking, we have the Atexity Scroll T142. This is a high precision 4000 DPI optical mouse that's got a really cool slick Tron inspired looking design and controls to adjust the mouse sensitivity on the fly, which I always really love. And it also has a few programmable buttons on it if you're into customizing your experience. And it comes in a few different colors. What's better than that, especially for under 20 bucks? So guys, those were the 10 best gaming accessories that you can get for under $25. When we did our last budget gaming video, you guys really took some of the recommendations to heart and I got tweets about some people actually buying these things and checking them out. So that's the most important thing. Let us know in the comments below if you have any of these things and if you use them and if you like them. And let us know in the comments what budget products you use that might have helped you out because we can learn from you. So definitely share with us. And if you did have a good time and maybe bought something or two, give us a like because that really helps us out. And subscribing is the best thing you can do because we put out videos every single day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.